good morning students today we are going to discuss about simple telephone communication simple telephone communication simple telephone communication okay in the simplest form of a telephone circuit there is a one way communication involving two entities one receiving that means listening and the other is transmitting okay in the simplest form of a telephone circuit there is a one way communication involving two entities one receiving and the other transmitting okay uh, this form of one way communication is known as simplex communication okay this form of one way communication is known as simplex communication okay now we are uh, going to uh, see the circuit diagram of a simplex telephone circuit okay uh, here it is microphone this is the simplex telephone circuit this is inductor and voltage inductor represented with l and this is earphone this is micro phone l v this is the a simplex telephone circuit okay the microphone okay the microphone and the earphone are the transducer elements of the telephone communication system microphone converts speech signals into electrical signals what microphone converts speech signal into Uh, converts speech signals into electrical signals and the earphone converts electrical signals into audio signals okay uh, the microphone and the earphone are the transducer elements of the uh, telephone communication system microphone converts speech signals into electrical signal and earphone converts electrical signal into audio signal the most commonly used microphone is a carbon microphone okay the most commonly used microphone is a carbon microphone carbon microphones do not produce high fidelity signals but give out strong electrical signals at acceptable quality levels for telephone conversation in carbon microphones a certain quantity of small carbon granules is placed in a box okay carbon granules conduct electricity and the resistance offered by them is dependent upon the density with which they are packed okay one side of the box cover is flexible and is mechanically attached to a diaphragm okay when sound waves impinge uh, impinge on the diaphragm uh, it vibrates causing the carbon granules to compress or expand thus changing the resistivity offered by the granules if a voltage is applied to the microphone the current in the circuit varies according to the vibrations of the diaphragm the theory of the carbon microphone indicates that the microphone functions like an amplitude modulator when the sound waves impinge on the diaphragm the instantaneous resistance of the microphone uh, is given by r i equal to r not minus r sin omega t where r not equal to where r not equal to quiescent resistance of the microphone when there is no speech signal and r r is the maximum variation in resistance offered by the carbon granules where r is less than r not and r i what is r i r i is the instantaneous resistance okay uh, next the negative equation this is an, the negative equation indicates that when the carbon granules are compressed the resistance decreases and vice versa ignoring impedances okay in a microphone equation 
for resistance g2 carbon granules is given by ri equal to r0 minus r sin omega t where r is the where r is the instantaneous resistance r0 is a quiescent resistance and uh, this is r0 minus r max also this is r max sin omega t r max e this r max is the maximum variation in the resistance offered by carbon granules okay the instantaneous current in the microphone is given by the instantaneous current in the microphone is given by i equal to v by r okay then i equal to v by r not r means r not minus r max sin omega t okay this is the instantaneous current in the microphone is given by i equal to v by r then i equal to v by r not minus r max sin omega t then i equal to v by r not r max means 1 minus r max by r not sin omega t equal to v by r not of 1 minus m sin omega t m equal to r max by r not okay then i equal to v by r not of 1 minus m sin omega t power minus 1 okay then i equal to i q of 1 minus m sin omega t power minus 1 applying binomial theorem by applying binomial theorem by applying binom binomial theorem i equal to i q of 1 plus m sin omega t plus m square sin square omega t and so on ok where where i q where i q is the quiescent current in the microphone if m is less than less than 1 then equation reduces to i equal to i q of 1 plus m sin omega t ok ok in this equation i q equal to 0 then the resistance i equal to 0 hence it is necessary that the current i q must flow in the micro microphone the other name given to this current is energized current ok uh, in this uh, equation in analogous to equation of amplitude modulated wave uh, i q acts as carrier of a m m acts modulation index of a m if m is quite large then the second order term in uh, is uh, cannot be neglected these higher terms are known as harmonic distortion thus the harmonic distortion depends upon the parameter m hence quiescent current okay this is the simple telephone com uh, communication okay this is the simple telephone communication okay then next then next what is the switching basics of switching system basics of switching system basics of switching system okay what is a switching system a switching system is a network formed between the foreign subscribers it consists of a set of input and output uh, uh, circuits 
called inlets and outlets respectively. The main objective of a switching system is to establish an electrical path between a given inlet outlet pair. The switching matrix is the hardware that is implemented for the establishment of such connection. Okay, now we are going to see uh, see the diagram of a switching network. Okay, this is the switching network. N inlets and M outlets. Okay, this is the model of a switching network. Okay, a switching system is a network formed between the foreign subscribers. It consists of a set of inputs and outputs. Okay. A switching system is a network formed between foreign subscribers. It consists of a set of input and output circuit called inlets and output outlets respectively. The main objective of a switching system is to establish a electrical path between a given inlet outlet pair. The switching matrix is the hardware that is implemented for the establishment of such connection. Okay, This is the uh, simple figure of the switching network okay in this uh, uh, in this uh, switching network if n equal to if n equal to m if n equal to m that is the number of inlets equal to the number of outlets then the switching network is called a symmetric network okay in this uh, circuit if n equal to m okay if n equal to m that is the number of inlet equals to the number of outlets then the switching network is called symmetric network okay network is called symmetric network okay then when the input and output lines are connected to the subscriber lines the, the resulting network is called as folded network okay when the input and output lines are connected to the subscriber lines the resulting network is called folded network so uh, now we are going to see the folded network diagram this is the folded network diagram switching network This is the N subscribers. Okay, this is the folded network. Okay, when the input and output lines are connected and the inputs and output lines are connected to the subscriber line the resulting network is called the folded network okay if there are n subscribers if there are n subscribers in a folded network then the maximum of n by 2 simultaneous calls can be made so it is economical to design a switching network that has uh, as many um, simultaneous switching paths as the average number of conversations expected when the network provides n by 2 okay when the network provides n by 2 simultaneous switching paths it is said to be non blocking network in a rare case there in a rare case there may be no switching paths available for a subscriber and the subscriber is uh, den denied connection okay the switching network in this case is called blocking network the probability that a user may get blocked is called blocking probability the maximum average simultaneous traffic that the switching exchanges can handle is called busy hour traffic when this uh, traffic exceeds the limit uh, to which the switching system is designed a subscriber experiences blocking hence this um, hence designing a network is of 
uh, utmost importance okay the traffic in a telecommunication network is measured in er, uh, erla erlang uh, which is as internationally ex accepted unit of traffic in density okay when all the inlets and outlets are used uh, for inter exchange transmission the exchange rejects the local subscribers call as transit exchange okay this is the uh, basics of switching system okay basics of switching system uh, a switching system is a network formed between the foreign subscribers it consists of a set of input and output circuits called inlets and outlets respectively the main objective of a switching system is to establish an electrical path between a uh, given inlet and outlet pair the switching matrix is the hardware that is implemented for the establishment of such connection okay this is the uh this is the uh, figure a uh, model uh, of switching network with n inlets and m outlets okay with n inlets and m outlets okay uh, the, in this uh, uh, circuit switching network if n equal to m that is the number of inlets equals to the number of outlets uh, then the switching network is called is called as, as uh, symmetric network when the input and output lines are connected to the subscriber lines the resulting network is called folded network okay uh, then uh, if there are n subscribers in a folded network then a maximum of n by 2 simultaneous calls can be made so it is economical to design a switching network that has as many simultaneous switching paths as the average number of conversations um, expected when the network provides n by 2 simultaneous switching paths it is said to be non blocking network in a rare case uh, there may be no switching paths available for a subscriber and the subscriber is denied connection uh, uh, the switching network in this case is called blocking network the probability that a user may get blocked uh, is called blocking probability okay the maximum average simultaneous traffic that the switching exchanges can handle is called busy hour traffic what is busy hour traffic the maximum average simultaneous traffic that the switching exchanges can handle is called busy hour traffic okay what is the busy hour traffic the maximum average simultaneous traffic that the switching exchanges can handle is called busy hour traffic okay when this traffic exceeds the limit uh, to which the switching system is designed uh, a subscriber experiences blocking hence designing a network is of utmost importance the traffic in a telecommunication network is measured in erlang okay which is as internationally accepted unit of traffic intensity when all the inlets and outlets are used for inter exchange transmission the exchange rejects the local subscribers call as transmit exchange okay this is the basics of switching system okay then uh, in our next uh, class we are discussing about elements of switching system uh, okay elements of switching system and the functions of telecommunication switching system okay thank you